Hello, you guys were some of the lucky few who got to go to Bull Run. What a beautiful place that was. I've gotten to go a few times with fourth graders. I didn't get to go with you, but we're still going to make some awesome art about it. Look at that tree line and all of that glistening water. Here's another picture that we took one year. I don't know if it was sunny or a little more cloudy when you were there, but regardless, it's a gorgeous place, and I always think about it when it's raining. I think about water filling it up for us to drink. So there's that other picture of the dam and the part you got to go inside. There's a blue sky, and the only reason the water is blue is because the sky is blue and it's being reflected in the water. We're going to talk about reflection today as well as horizon. So there's this guy, super famous. His name is Claude Monet, and in fact, he has some of the most expensive selling art still to this day. He's not alive anymore, but he used to take a little boat like this out onto water and just really enjoy the way that water was reflecting light. Here's one of his pictures, and I'm sorry the quality is so bad. We'll look at other pictures, but he used to draw the upper part of the scene and then reflect it in the water below. So everything above the horizon line is the same as below, but we can tell that there's water. And this is an example of what we'll do. We're going to use our regular paper, and we're going to use paint, and we're going to use a folding technique to reflect our bull run scene down below into the water. So these are some words we've been using. Reflection. Reflection is when we see something mirrored down below. Analogous. We're going to have analogous colors, um, and we'll talk about those later. Our horizon line is horizontal. It goes straight across the picture from left to right. And the paint is going to transfer it down when we fold. So the first step is to get some paint on your paper. And every time you paint a tree or some color, before it dries, you're going to fold it down and make a print. So you're basically going to paint, paint, fold, paint, paint, fold. And eventually, after you paint and fold and paint and fold, you're going to get a tree line or maybe you'll have some shore, also some mud, um, going across your paper. And then we'll move on to step three next time. Some people have added clouds while the paint is still wet. And no matter what today, you're going to let this dry on the drying rack open, not closed, or it will be glued shut the next time you see it and you won't be able to work on it anymore. Next steps will follow after this.